வணக்கம் நவ் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சால்வ் ப்ராப்ளம் த்ரீ பாயிண்ட் ஒன் த்ரீ ஃப்ரம் ஃபண்டமெண்டல்ஸ் ஆஃப் எலக்ட்ரிக் சர்க்கியூட்ஸ் பை அலெக்சாண்டர் அண்ட் சடிக்கு ஸோ ஹியூ வி ஆர் ஆஸ்ட் டு ஃபைண்ட் அவுட் திஸ் வி ஒன் அண்ட் வி டூ த சர்க்கியூட் யூசிங் நோடல் அனாலிசிஸ் ஓகே ஸோ நவ் வில் ப்ரொசீவ் ஸோ ஹியூ திஸ் திஸ் ஒன் நோட் திஸ் இஸ் அனதர் நோட் அண்ட் ஹியூ த கரண்ட்ஸ் ஐ ஒன் ஐ டூ அண்ட் ஐ த்ரீ ஆர் ஃப்ளோயிங் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் அவர் ரெஃபரன்ஸ் நோட் and this 10 volts voltage source is not connected with the reference node that's why this forms a super node okay so for this super node we can apply the kcl because it is coming under our nodal analysis so the entering current is equal to leaving current so here we have the entering current as i1 plus i2 and i3 no leaving current so it is equal to zero So instead of I1, I can write it like it is 0 minus V1 divided by 8 because it starts from here and ending here, right? Plus I2, it starts from here and ends here. So it is 0 minus V2 divided by that 4 ohms. Plus here the current itself is V1. So it is 15 amps that is equal to 0. So it is minus V1 divided by 8. by 8 minus v2 by 4 that is equal to minus 15 so we can cancel out this minus signs and if i take the common denominator here as 8 it is v1 plus 2 v2 that is equal to 15 v1 plus 2 v2 that is equal to 15 times 8 that is 120 so this is our first equation since that is a, a super node here we have to write the potential difference as an equation so we need to find out what is available here if i take this as some v3 potential then i can write it like v32 that is equal to v3 minus v2 that is equal to 10 so now i can write this v3 as v2 plus 10 volts so if you check this i1 current is the one which is flowing through this path also okay so using the potential divider or voltage divider rule we can find out this v1 okay so how to find out this v1 v1 is equal to this v3 potential because it is at the higher potential multiplied by this resistance a tone divided by the total resistance through which this current i1 is flowing so 8 plus 2 that is equal to 10 ohms so if you divide it by 2 then i can write it like so you can write this v1 is equal to 4 by 5 v3 is it or v3 is equal to 5 by 4 v1 na so we have to keep keep this take this as second equation this should be substituted here we instead of this v3 that is equal to v2 plus 10 is it so cross multiplying this we get this as 5v1 is equal to 4v2 plus 40 isn't it so i can write it like 5v1 minus 4v2 that is equal to 40 so i get one equation which relates v1 and v2 let me take this as third equation so already we have this equation as equation number 1 so if i multiply this first equation by 2 2v1 plus 4v2 that is equal to 240 so my modified version of first equation already what is equation number 3 it is 5v1 minus 4v2 that is equal to 40 this is the equation so when i solve these two equations equation number 1 dash and 
then by adding these two this is 7 v1 is equal to 280 so what is v1 v1 is equal to 280 by 7 so that is equal to 40 so the answer is 40 volts for v1 then equation i take once again equation number one in this i substitute this v1 as 40 2 v2 is equal to 120 minus 40 that is equal to 80 so that v2 is equal to 80 by 2 so that is equal to 40 so v2 is equal to 40 volts so we get both the answers v1 and v2 is 40 volts this is our answer thank you